All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. I hope my voice coming good and clear. Please invite your friends and let us have some good time together. Uh, we don't want to waste our time with the music and etc. in the beginning, so let us go to the business. You know, it's a very simple question, and as you see, each time we speak to Mohammedan, the first thing you notice that those Mohammedan they don't know even what they are believing in, they don't know what is their religion. And the second we ask them a very embarrassing question, they try to duct tape as much as they can. Like yesterday, we have a black person from Nigeria. When we ask him how, why Allah will make people black in the day of judgment, he said he will make them dark, dark, dark. And here you see how stupid the defense is. So you are saying to me that the God of Islam will punish people for not believing in him by making, making them dark. So what Islam is teaching us, that being dark, as this Nigerian boy said, is a penalty. So we can understand from this racist teaching, filthy, disgusting, and inhumane, that you are being punished by being or made into black. This is what this filthy cult teaching people. And we have the video still there if you did not watch it. And when we showed him from the Quran and from Ibn Kathir and in Arabic and in English, he refused to read. Very filthy, disgusting. And we know that Muhammad, he made fun too. Not only in black, he made fun of the Asian people. In fact, Islam teach that the Asian, they are the most evil after the black. How we know that? Those who follow the false messiah, the people of Ya'juju uh, and Ma'juj, There are 22 tribes. One of them is the Turkish. And all those tribes who they are Asian, they are behind those walls except the Turkish. And what those people will do is nothing but a pure evil. Muhammad, he even mentioned it clearly that avoid specifically the Turkish. Muhammad never predict, predicted that the Turkish would become Muslims. And here we see that the Muhammadan, they claim that Muhammad predicted that the Constantinia city is going to be conquered by the Muslim. In fact, Muhammad, he said to the Arab in his time that you will conquer. And he failed and he took the army all the way to Tabuk and he came back as a potato. Muhammad, as you see here, he have his reasons. He is a coward. He heard that the you know those people they are very very aggressive in war. So he said, "Don't attack those people. Leave them as long they leave you." But remember, Muhammad. He want to conquer the whole world, but leave the Turkish alone. Why? Because he is a potato. He is a coward. And he don't want to go in war with people who they can beat easy, his cowardly army. Muhammad, he made fun of the how the Asian people look like. Even he described them in a very aggressive way. The last hour would not come until a people wearing shoes of hair fight against you, having their faces like hammer shield. 
And here you see the fallacy of this man who he claimed to be a prophet, that this is a sign of the day of judgment, that there is people who they are Asian. And as you see how he described their faces, this is not my words, and this is not my translation, and this is not my website. Hey Asian people, do you wear shoes made from hair? And is your faces hammered like shield hammered? So Muhammad, he always make fun of the look of the black people and he make fun of the Asian people. And then the Mohammedan, they say to us, there is a speech of a prophet Muhammad, he says, there is no difference between black or red or white, except who much fear Allah. And this hadith cannot be found except in one place and its fabrication. Because obviously, isn't it the Muhammadan, they say to us, anything contradict the Quran, we don't take it? <laughs> well, the Quran says, Allah will make the people who don't worship him black. And Muhammad, he said that when he created Adam, he created him, he, he created the seed of Adam or the offspring of Adam, the white people from the right shoulder and the black people from the left shoulder. Uh, and the right shoulder is where people could go to heaven. Those are the white ones. And from the left shoulder is where the black people are created. And obviously Muhammad, he think, that Adam never used his penis and Eve she never she was virgin so the offspring of Adam they were coming from his shoulders look like in the beginning of the mankind aka Adam uh, Adam uh, at that time he have no balls neither a penis it was shoulder uh, which is used as a sexual uh, organ so from the shoulder of Adam when Muhammad, he described the black people as raising head. When Muhammad, he says the most person who Allah, he hate is a black man. A black man, why? Why the most person Allah, he hate is a black man? Any Muslim can tell me? You know, once in Facebook, and this is because Facebook and those liberals are awkward and stupid and very filthy. A Muslim... I was posting what Muhammad saying and then a Muslim he said to me well I was asking how come I mean uh, everything black is evil uh, and then a Muslim he post back answering saying have you ever heard of an angel is not white Facebook blocked my comment and they did not block the Muslim comment it's the same garbage you see in YouTube here. You know, like you know, I I keep they, YouTube YouTube themselves. They keep a flag in my videos. Not even the Muslims, because when you say the truth, those people they are garbage in, garbage out. They gang together. They try to mute you so you cannot speak. And you know what? I want to tell you something very important, Muhammadan. Neither you, neither YouTube can mute me. Open new channel will take two minutes. And not only that. In fact, if you flag my videos, I will have more time to write my books. And actually, this is what I'm doing now. And actually, each time you try to provoke me, I'm not a person you can threat. I take a threat as an encouragement. There's people who you threat them, you know, potatoes, they run away, they hide. I, I, and that's not that will not work with me. You threat me, I work harder. Today we are going to open our Skype and we will ask a very simple question and be my witness. Not a single Muslim can answer the question. Those people, they worship and know God. They are pagan like their prophet. They have no idea who is their God. And they claim that they have God. In fact, if you ask any Muhammadan what Allah means, they have no idea. Who is Allah? They have no idea. They have no idea. Prove me wrong. Any Muhammadan?
Do we have any Muhammadan would like to join us? Oh, we have this guy from Nigeria. Yesterday, the guy who said Allah will make his face dark, dark, not black. And then he admit it's black. <laughs> Let me call him so we can laugh. It says he is online, but he is not. I don't see a respond. You know, if you remember, in our uh, let us mute this speaker in case he answer. We 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 put it. Look like he is not answering. Uh, if you remember, in our uh, uh, intro here, we heard. Uh, the ketchup boy saying the truth about his prophet if you remember in this part here the ketchup boy ad admit that his prophet is a pagan and he is not Abrahamic and all the tribe of Quraysh are pagan let us uh, put the sound on give me a second sorry you know, those moments are really priceless because those potatoes who they claim they know their God, from time to time, they have, uh, you know, I mean, the truth come out. When when a Muslim, he feel comfortable, the truth come out. So he is talking to an average person in front of him and he is not like now alarmed. And so he say things. In other way, he make poo-poo. And now the poo-poo is nothing but the truth. Muhammad is not Abrahamic. He do not even know what the angel Jibreel is. He never heard of him. So everything the Muhammadan they claim about Muhammad is a lie. He never was Abrahamic. He don't know what is Abraham. And he do not know who is Jibreel. But I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. The people of Mecca were pagan. Did you hear it? He did not come from an Abrahamic faith. I did not say that. Did you hear it? Muhammad did not come from Abrahamic faith. But if we ask Muslims, what is the name of the father of Muhammad? They will say Abdullah. Okay. That means Abdullah have nothing to do with the Abrahamic faith. That means Allah because Abdullah means slave of Allah. So he did not come from Abrahamic faith. We heard it. It's true. I mean, those liars sometimes, they say the truth. So, he did not come from Abrahamic faith, yet his father name is Abdullah. That means, those who worship Allah have nothing to do with Abraham. Correct? So, Allah obviously have nothing to do with Abraham like you know the idiot who debated uh, uh, Dr. Uh, Michael Brown I did not watch the debate by the way I mean I just to play maybe a few seconds I got bored because uh, I know everything they will say there I mean nothing new for me but uh, one of you told me that this guy he said in the debate that the word Elohim is mentioned in the Quran. That became Yahweh. <laughs> so they are so desperate. Look, you know, Muhammadan, I mean, where you where you people get those where you man where you manufacture those things? I mean, those people they are so desperate. Now they are trying to find Yahweh in the Quran. The God of the Christian and the Jews. Well, Allah have 99 names. We don't see the name there. Are you adding one more name now? Is there 100 now? When I say stupidity, 
is amazing. I mean, I ha I mean it. So here it says, "Qul huwa." He said, "Ahu, yahu, ha hu, Yahweh." Okay, this is Yahweh. What the heck? Who are your idiot is a word by itself. I mean, it is he. This is not a part of the name. Same in the same. Even if we try to make it the way you make it, how in the world will make it Yahweh? Where is the Yah? So they are so desperate. However, because Muhammad is a thief, we can find the name of the God of the Christians in the Quran. How? You know, if you ask the Muhammadan, how many names Allah have, they will say 99 names. Okay. Is one of them is ill? Like word ill? No. Okay. So who is Jibreel? What Jibreel mean? They don't know. Because they stole the word from the Jews. Okay. Who is Mikael? They don't know. They don't know what that means. What Mikael mean? What Jibreel mean? They don't know. If we ask them, okay, in the Quran you say that Zakariah. Okay, what Zakariah mean? We don't know. But if you go right now to Google and check the name and what the name mean, you will notice that this is a biblical name, complicate like complex of name, include the name of the God of the Christian and the God of the Jews. The same as John. When the Quran say Yahya, who is Yahya? So Muhammadan, they are following a thief. He do not know what he is copying. So what Zechariah mean? Any Muslim can tell me what Zechariah mean? Is that an Arabic word? Any Muhammadan? What Jibreel mean? What Mikael mean? What Israel mean? <laughs> what Isaac mean? What Abraham mean? Thieves. It is a religion of the thieves. They hijack everything around them. They take it, they put it there. The same as they stole the world Ramadan from other religion. The same as they stole the word Ashura from other religion. The same they stole everything, churches, anything, anything. It's a theft. Muhammad, he saw a dream that he went to the 7 11 heaven. Now they claim Jerusalem belonged to them. It was a dream. And even if the guy, he went there in the top of a flying donkey, how that city will be yours? If you remember, in a debate, uh, Ahmed did that. He was making fun of the story in the Bible about Jacob. How he was wrestling with the angel of God or with God, struggling with God. You see, this is story in your Bible. <laughs> but the stupid donkey, by accepting the name of Israel in the Quran, you accepted the story. Like if you ask the Muhammadan, how the name of Jacob, who is Israel? Here we go. If we go right now in the Quran, who is Israel? Not a single place in the Quran tell us who is Israel. Suddenly it says the children of Israel. Shouldn't you tell us who is Israel? Who is Israel? The Quran is like somebody, he is a student uh, making a note, like it's a notebook. Okay, he wrote Israel. Okay, shouldn't you tell us first who is Israel? This is the book as a guidance for mankind. And now I want to I wanna convert to Islam. Suddenly this name appeared in the Quran. Who is Israel? Any Muhammadan can tell us? Okay.
I don't know, people they send me messages. Ah, this is not a message, this is advertising. Ask me any type of question like finding recipes. Stupid Skype. Advertising. All right. I thought I thought somebody sent me messages saying to me, ask me any question about any recipe. I was saying to myself, who is this stupid idiot who is sending me such a message? Even though there's a lot of stupid people in the world. Do we have any Mohammedan? Israel is a country. Zok Star. What did you drink today? Are you a Muslim Zok Star? Guys, we got the answer. I ask who is Israel. The answer are coming so fast. Some people, they have a very high processor. Israel is a country. What you can do about it now? That's it. He, he shut you up. Zookistar, are you a Muslim, my friend? Because there's such an intelligence you can find only between Muslims, to be honest with you. I mean, I don't know if you're a Muslim or not, but you must be a Muslim to say such a statement. He is? Uh, that's why, this explain why he's so smart. Hmm. Israel is a country. It says the children of Israel. He's a man. A man, his name is Israel. What Muslim country is Israel? What's wrong with those people? They don't even know how to read their book. I'm telling you, they don't know. At the same time, even if Israel is a name of a country, I'm asking you, what Israel mean? You do not know. Okay. How this book is the book of God and God talking to you, but he don't tell you what he is saying. Have you ever heard of a country laying children? Like the father is Israel, is like he's a country. It says, Oh, children of Israel. They don't know. Illiterate. You know, even the Quran, the yellow page of Muhammad, call the Christians people of the book for a reason, because we know. And call the Muslims Ummiyin, for they are ignorant. Chapter seven, chapter two. Even even their chapters are funny name. I mean, have you ever heard of a religion? They have a chapter in the book of God. It's called the chapter of the cow. And then you ask the Muslims, did Allah name the chapter the cow? They say no. Allah did not name it the cow. Okay, how then the chapter took the name of the cow? Because Allah He spoke in the chapter about the cow. So if Allah he spoke in the chapter of the about piss, you will call it the chapter of the pissing. I mean, if you look how they even choose the names of their chapters, you will die laughing. And the story here about the cow, by the way, a guy, uh, he's a Jew, he was killed. Uh, Moses at that time, he was the head of the FBI, as you know. The Jews is everywhere, my friend. So they came to Moses and they asked him, uh, okay, uh, can you tell your God to find out who is the one who killed this guy? Huh? Can you bring him from death uh, so we can ask him the question? So Moses asked Allah, I mean, you know, it's very easy, Moses is a Jew, he has connection. Muhammad, he asked Allah, Allah do nothing. Zero miracle. Moses, hey, shalom, khabibi, uh, can I talk to Allah? Tell him a Jew when I talk to you. A Jew? Okay, I'm coming. Yeah. So uh, uh, Moses, you know, he he called Allah, and then Allah he told him how to resurrect the man. Who reboot a story? So he told Moses, go and get a cow. It's a cow recipe. You know. I mean, this is why in many countries they like beef, man. I don't blame the Korean for eating out of beef. This is a beefy story, you know. So look at here. Uh, they told Moses, 
Okay, so uh, what, uh, how we can do now? We need to know who is the one who killed this guy, okay? So, uh, Allah told them what kind of cow, go and find it. And then they found the cow. And then Allah, he told them, okay, now beat the dead guy with the beef of the cow. And you know, for sure, I mean, if you beat the man with the cow, I mean, even if you are dead and you like beef, you will come. Like, you know, for me, um, I like falafel. So if I'm dead and you beat me with falafel, I will wake up. I like baklava, you know? If you bring some baklava and like you put it in my face or, you know, I will come back to life. So those, obviously, this guy, he like beef. So they hit the guy with the beef and the guy, he sat down like a zombie. They asked him, who is the one who killed you? He said, Jack Shalom. Takbir, Takbir, they arrested Jack Shalom and they killed Jack Shalom because he is the one. And then the guy, he woke up and he told them who killed him and he, he died again. And by the way, the Muslims, they say they made articles about this verse. If you don't believe me, search it on Google. They claim that this verse is speaking about, uh, what they call it, like when you when you put your mouth on somebody, like you have a heart attack. What they call it? CPR? CPR, right? Yeah. They claim that this is CPR. I mean, the guy, he died by the dagger. They killed him. I mean, can you believe how they lie? Suddenly, this verse, if you don't believe me, search the miracle of CPR or, or heart, or uh, like a heart, uh, like re uh, reviving the heart. The Muslim, they claim here that they are getting back the guy from death because he have a heart attack. But the story of the guy, he died by a dagger, a very violent death. Yeah, I know, I know. Yeah, once, you know, uh, I, I, I know, by the way, I do not know what CPR. Uh, when I was in school, there is a girl, she said to me, uh, Subhanallah, Subhanallah. She is very, she is very good, very good girl. She said, I want to teach you how to do CPR. I said, okay, I have no idea what the CPR is about. <laughs> you know my English skills, how it is. I said, okay, okay. Well, like, uh, I thought she is talking about something in the school. Like, we are, we are in school, you know. I said, okay, sure, sure, you know, you know. Um, when when this class will be? Uh, she said, uh, oh, you know, I have to come to your place. Or you come to my place. <laughs> Hey Muslims, this is become CPR. Is that the same CPR this girl she said she wanna teach me? Huh? And don't worry, she did not teach me anything. Okay, so I'm still ignorant about it. <laughs> if you see the miracles, okay, hold on. Maybe you don't believe me that this is what they claim. Let me search for it. Just to show you how they lie. They love to lie. Chapter 2, verse number 27. All right. Switch to English. Quran. Let us see. Just to show you how they love to lie. All right. Oh. Let us see. I, I forgot what the name, the title of the of the uh, article. Uh, but they have even videos about it. I'm just trying to find it. I need to find the, the name of the article. Maybe you can search for it and you'll find it yourself. 
I guess see. I am having difficulty to find it. But I'm sure it's there. But you know, when you type miracle and you type a verse, you will find thousands of articles. Okay, okay, okay. Hmm. Yeah, it looks like I will I will find it. I will find it. I mean sometimes you know you wanna find something, it disappears. Okay. Anyone find anything? I will find it. You see, I'm looking for it, but I'm finding different story now. I find medical biology in the Quran. <laughs> oh boy. Uh... Let us see. Yeah, I'm having difficulty. Maybe, maybe you can, uh, maybe you can find it yourself. Anyway, so they try to make a miracle of anything, but if you ask yourself, I mean, how come Allah will bring somebody from death just to tell us who killed him, but Muhammad could not ask Allah to bring what they call the Muslim? They claim they claim that he have a son and he died. And Muhammad, he was crying like a baby over him. How come Allah did not even recover Muhammad's health? Muhammad always was sick, especially in the last five, six years of his life. Horribly sick. To the point, uh, he cannot even walk. He cannot go to the bathroom. He cannot dress. He cannot even pray. So you will notice that the Muslims are very generous speaking about miracles of other names, Moses, uh, Isa. The second we speak about Muhammad, you will find the Quran confirmed that Muhammad have zero miracle. Let us see. How Muhammad he used to get sick, by the way? Like, is his sickness normal? Was he blessed by God? Jesus, people, they come to him, just, by, you know, a woman, she touched his dress, she was healed. Just touching his dress. Did not even talk to him. Muhammad is always sick. I went to visit the Prophet when he was uh, jaded by fever. And touching him with my hand, I said, you are seriously jaded by fever, messenger of Allah. The prophet replied, yes, I am twice as judged as any of you. I said, this is because you have a double reward, prophet. He replied, okay, that was, and they said, uh, yeah, uh, uh -huh, because, uh, yeah, I have the reward. He replied saying uh, so and said, no Muslim afflicted by injury, by it illness or something else without God thereby causing his sin to drop away just as a tree drops sheets and leaves. So Muhammad now he claimed that Allah made him sick so he can forgive his sin.
So my friend, if you are a person who is a heavy sinner, all what you need to do, just get sick, have a fever. The more fever you have, the more you are forgiven. So you notice here Muhammad, who claimed to be a prophet, he healed nobody, he is sick, he cannot heal himself. In the top of that, he claimed that being sick is a good thing. In fact, he just admitted that his sin is a tree full of sin. And now we have zero Muhammad and trying to contact us to tell us who is Allah. A Muslim who talked to me in private. Okay, well, I am live on air now. I cannot talk to you in private. Sorry. Not now. In private. I wish I get the same number of people when I talk to me in public from the Muslim, the same as I get of people when I talk in private. Do we have any Muhammadan? So they are illiterate. Their prophet is illiterate. Muhammad is a thief. He stole names. He do not know what they mean. And by adding them to his book, he made Islam more exposed. Like as an example, uh, if you ask a Muhammadan what the name Baal mean, do Allah and his prophet know what Baal mean? They don't know. I challenge any Muslim to tell me what Baal mean and how Allah he compare himself to Baal if you read this verse as an example look what the Muslims they say to you in the translation Allah he said in chapter of as safat chapter 37 verse 125 will you call upon Baal between two bracket a well-known idol of his nations whom they used to worship. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Who is the nation you are talking about? I mean, isn't this the Quran was given to the Muhammadan who they are in Mecca and in Medina? What nation? So are you saying that the Arab are worshiping Baal? And are you saying that the Arab, they decide to forsake Allah and worship Baal? And are you saying that Allah, he is comparing himself to Baal by saying Allah is the best of the creators? That means Baal is a creator and Allah is a creator. Allah, he claimed that he is the best of the creators. Is that a stupid mistake? Or it's a scientific fact that there is many creators. If I say I am the best student, that means I agreed there is other students, correct? Is that correct, people? If I say I am the best teacher, that means I agreed that I am not the only teacher. There's other teachers, but I'm the best. You cannot be the best if you are the only one. That would be even stupid to say. So when Allah, he said, he is the best of the creators. How many creators there is in Islam? And how you compare yourself to an idol. Even the Muslim, they say, between two brackets, which means not in the Quran, it's an idol. How you say you are the best of the creators comparing yourself to idol? And the funny is the Muslim, they say the Muhammadan, they say you cannot, com you cannot compare Allah to anything. But, but Allah himself is comparing himself to an idol.
No, no, it doesn't say creator. It says creators. You see some translation, as usual, the Muslim, they will eat letters, even sentences. So in some translation, the letter S is gone. In Arabic, it says it clear. Are you going to worship Baal and forsake the best of the creators, Al Khaliqeen? If you change the translator, actually, I don't know who is the translator. Let us see now. We have who? We have Hilali and Khan. Let us see a different one. Uh, uh, Muhammad Azad. What? The best of what? Artisan? The best of the artisan? You know what? I was wondering where is Allah? Where I saw Allah before? It turned to be that Allah is an artist. What artisan? The Muslims, I don't know. I, am I getting the, the meaning wrong? I, as you know, my, my English is not that good. But I want to see what artisan means. Maybe I'm mistaken. I hope I hope they are not saying he is an artist, artisan, skilled worker, skilled in a, a trade. What the heck? Especially one involved in making things by hand. Street maker, where local artisan display known. Allah is the best of the artisan. It sounds like an Armenian for me. So look, the word the creator or creators became artisans. <laughs> Artisan, artisans. Okay, maybe I'm saying, sorry guys, my English as you know. I used to speak good English, but since I drank camel urine, I, you know, I like... I don't know what happened. I start speaking Chinese or Japanese. You know, like sometimes I would be talking and something like I say, Chim -wa, he -wa, you know, like, yeah. yeah. But like, you know, and what, uh, by the way, what was the topic? I forgot. This, this is the side effect of camel urine. So somebody tell me how the word the creator became artisan. Arti. Are you Muslims arting your... Uh, Abdul Malik is saying to us, we are lost. Abdul Malik, why you don't call us and guide us, my friend? Aren't you the best artisan, Abdul Malik? Aren't you the follower of the best artisan? Show us your skill, Mr. Artisan. You people are lost. Isn't it Allah is the one who deceived us, according to the Quran? Abdul Malik. Hey, Muslims, hey, what Abdul Malik mean? What does that mean? Allah, he own what? He's al Malik? Huh. So instead of complaining, call us, stop eating in Ramadan for five minutes. You have no mic, no problem. You can call me and swear by Allah that you have mic. Actually, I remember once in Palto, a Muslim, he claimed that he have no microphone. And he was saying that in the chat, in the text. So I said, okay, I will give you the microphone, swear by Allah that you don't have a microphone. The stupid, he took the microphone and he swear by Allah. We heard him talking. I swear by Allah, I'm serious. I don't have a microphone. <laughs> I mean, this is how smart they are. So I took the microphone back and I said, so how you don't have a microphone and we just heard you talking and you swear by Allah that you don't have a microphone. <laughs> you should see what... <laughs> I mean, I don't believe you. I told him, I don't believe you that you don't have a microphone. Okay, take the microphone and swear by Allah that you don't have a microphone. The idiot, he took the microphone. And he starts speaking, swearing by Allah. I swear by Allah and the Quran is so serious. And I don't have a microphone. He said, okay, give me the microphone back. So he released it. I said, Abdul, how you don't have a microphone and we just heard you? Are you using your printer? He answered in the chat, because now I have the microphone. We cannot talk in the same time. He said in the chat, 
Allah knows best how it happened. <laughs> Allah knows best. So, as you see, they didn't know who is their God. Look, I mean, even the translation, how in the world, and this, how is this guy, Muhammad Asad? Let us change the translator, uh, Biktal. What Biktal will do? Ah, Biktal, he have a creators. He is more decent than, than them. Do we have any Muhammadan here? Allah the best artisan? Are you sure Muhammadan? Allah is an artist? Oh. Do we have any Muhammadan can tell us who is Allah the best of the creators? Mayday, mayday, mayday. Anyone? They do not know anything. They are pagan following pagan God. This God Allah is an ancient God, exists long before Islam. His name is al la Al mean God, La mean their name, you know. Uh, actually, me myself, I don't know really what that name mean because it's very ancient. We don't know what that mean. What that name mean? Nobody knows. All what we know that the people of Yemen, as an example, they have a temple for the god La. Why they call him La? What what the what is the first like the first language like this name can be found like used by the army because this religion is spread all over. It was really very very widespread. Those who worship La. So and because it's spread in many countries like Yemen, Ethiopia, uh, the, uh, all the Middle East, we cannot find and trace where is the origin of the name is coming from. It's very hard. Therefore, we cannot even find what the word mean. And the Muhammadan today, they do not know what the word mean. And imagine that you are a person who believe in God, but you do not know what the name of your God mean. If you search in, in Google, you will find the Muslims give you tons of articles. Everybody, he start like making his own recipe of the name. None of them is true. If you remember, once I asked uh, uh, Dr. Ruhi, anyone remember my uh, two hours? I think it was like an hour and a half or two hours with Dr. Ruhi. I asked him, as I remember, uh, he is a person who have a PhD in Islam from the Azhar University. I asked him, who is the, uh, what Allah mean? He said, I don't know. What I know that the, uh, we, we do not know who is the first Arab who used the word Allah. They don't know. You can go and watch the debate. They don't know. Okay, so, how you worship a word claiming that word belonged to a name of a god yet you do not know what it's mean maybe it is bad maybe it's satan so who is allah and you know i know this is a difficult question to anyone but at least you as a muslim shouldn't you know who is your god who is your God? Or what you know that his name is La. That's it. Muhammad himself never spoke to him, never saw him, never heard his voice. So how we can find out you are worshipping who? The Muhammadan they claim that Satan he can come to you in many forms as an example 
Satan, he come to Muhammad as a look of an angel Jibreel. And he gave him the satanic verses. How we can guarantee now that Jibreel himself is nothing but Satan who keep coming, claiming to be Jibreel. Any Muhammadan? Who is a Muhammadan would like to help us? An Ibn Abbas and Nishina Shaitan and Yukalu Lahul Abyad Kana Kad Atta Rasulullahi Sallallahu Alaihi was Salam a few sort of Jibreel. وَأَلْقَى فِي قِرَاءَةِ النَّبِيَّ تِلْكَ الْغَرَانِيقُ الْعُلَىٰ إِنَّ شَفَاعَتَهُنَّ لَتُرْتَجَ Translation A shaitan, his name is Abiyad. He came to the Prophet and he gave him satanic verses. He came to him as what? He came to him as an image of an angel. Muslims, Muhammadan, am I lying? Am I lying? Any Abdul? So, your book's confirming that Satan, he was able to clone the angel of God, which is your God, supposedly, not ours, and he come to Muhammad in the image of that angel specifically. How in the world we can trust that Muhammad ever he was receiving Quran from God, not from Satan. If Satan he can do it once, he can do it all the time. Right? In fact, the Quran says it clearly that shaitan make Quran. And the funny, the Quran says that Allah said that nobody can make Quran like the Quran. And then Allah, he come and he says, well, I will delete what shaitan he made as Quran. But I thought nobody can make Quran. So how come the Quran says nobody can make Quran, then Muhammad received Quran from Satan himself? And how come Satan, he come to Muhammad as the angel Jibreel? Do we have any Muhammadan would like to say anything? May they, may they. Look like they agree in everything we say. And we can find the reference for what we are saying in every, almost every Islamic, you know, library. And Muslims agree with it. Any Muhammadan?
Let us read together. We can open Al-Qurtubi, we can open any interpretation, but let us see here what Ar-Razi is saying. It says here in the front of me that there is a shaitan. He used to come to the Prophet. His name is Al-Abyad. And he come to the Prophet in the image of Jibreel. إن شيطانا يقال له الأبيض أتاه على صورة جبريل عليه السلام وألقى عليه هذه الكلمة فقرأها فلما سمع المشركون ذلك أعجبهم فجاء جبريل عليه السلام فاستعرضه فقرأها فلما بلغ تلك الكلمة قال جبريل عليه السلام أنا ما جئتك بهذه قال رسول الله إنه أتاني آت على صورتك فألقاها على لساني. Let us translate. I will use Google Translation. I will give you the link for the, you know. And maybe the easiest way to find now what the translation for what we want in the page, let us look for the word white maybe in English. So we do not need to read the whole thing. For some reason, Google is not working. I'm searching, it's not working, it's not showing. Uh, you know what, I think maybe sometime, I think this like website have like a browser inside the browser. Um, let us see. Okay, now, maybe now it's working. All right. It says here, from the narration of Atta, that the shaitan, you see the, the translation in, in English of Google, it says demon. Muslims don't have demon. There's many Christians, they get confused. They think that the Muslims believe in demon. They don't. They don't have demon in their religion. They believe in genie. Genie are not demon. Genie are really creatures, according to Muslims, even they can have sex with them, male and female. So when a priest, he said to you, that the Muslim believe in demon, correct him because he is ignorant for sure. So, narr narr narration of Atta that a shaitan called Al Abiyad, do you see the name? Came to him in the image of Jibreel and delivered words to him, which means the verses, and he recited. Then Jibreel came to him. See, translation here is false. You know, it says God, he bless him, come to me. No, it doesn't say that. It's about Jibreel. So Jibreel came to him now, the real Jibreel supposedly, and told Muhammad, uh, I did not give you this. So Muhammad told him, will he come to me in your image and deliver to me in my tongue? And there is other narration about the same story as you see. So as long Muhammad he is receiving satanic verses from Satan, and this is something printed, written in your books, how we can trust Muhammad to be speaking for anything have to do with angels. And how the Quran says nobody can make Quran like the Quran, yet Muhammad himself, he took Quran from Satan and he himself did not notice that this is not Quran. Any Muhammadan? Huh? And this is the reference in the front of us, and we can show you other books. This is Tafsir al Razi, variant number 23, page number 53. Do you see it? All right, let me send the link. Oh, it's not going through. I need to make it shorter. Hold on. Because there is Arabic in the... Um... <clears throat> let me shorten the link. Link. Shorten.
All right. Okay, let's try now. Let me know if the link will work. I shortened the link. All right. And this is not only in this book. We can find it in tons of books, not only here. Do we have any Muhammadan? Mayday, Mayday. How are you? Muhammad really ashamed of you. You don't dare to call me because you're afraid that I will make you a barbecue. Mayday, Mayday, how are you? Shame on Muhammad, shame on you. Muhammad received satanic verses and he received from Satan verses and neither Allah, neither Jibreel was able to do anything about it. Mayday, Mayday, how do you do? Muhammad became a barbecue. How Allah is a guardian of Muhammad. Isn't it the Quran says that Allah is the guardian of Muhammad? So if Allah the guardian of Muhammad, this shaitan took advantage that Allah was asleep and he came to Muhammad when Muhammad and his God are asleep. Oh, Muhammad was asleep. He was praying in the mosque with the pagans. And why the pagans are praying in the mosque with him? If they are pagan, you know, to pray with people in the same place, you have to be worshipping the same God. Many Muhammadan. Well, I cannot sing this song, uh, uh, my uh, dear admin. Because some even sometimes I if I sing a song like Do You Love Me, I will receive 10 messages and Skype says yes I do. So I better not to sing it. Stay safe better than sorry. If I am a prophet, I will make verse now saying that Allah told me any believing women she like to offer herself to the Prophet. I mean, we have a clear proof that Muhammad is not satanic. I mean, what this had, what this verse have to do if we can call it a verse with religion? Any believing woman can offer herself to the Prophet to do boom boom with her. This is from God. Are you sure? Allah sending messages telling Muhammad how many women he can do boom boom. I'm just trying to be polite saying boom boom. I don't want to use the F word. You know what I'm saying. Oh Prophet, we made lawful for you the wives. Now you are telling him the wives are lawful after he slept with him 1,000 times? 1 billion times? Don't, don't you think you're late? And then uh, okay, who your right hand process? Here we go, rape the slaves and the prisoner of war. Okay, rape them, assign to thee, or assign to him. That's it. That come, what you can say, the daughter of your partner, uncle. What the heck, and the daughters of your aunties. Okay, and the daughters of the maternal uncles. Like, what the heck, and the entity with the oha, uh -huh. and the migrant women from Mecca. Who's left, and the, to thee. And any believing women, she dictate her vagina. Not, you know, look, look. The Muslim translate her nafsaha as soul. You idiot. You liar. Let, let us change the translator. Hold on. What? Her soul? Muhammad will sleep with her soul? Why Muhammad is a spirit himself too? And so he have a sexual spirit? What soul? Any woman, she dictate her soul? Are you sure? Look, we changed the translator. Look what happened. It was offer her soul. Now a believing woman, she offer herself to the prophet. <laughs> what does this have to do with God? Anyone can tell me. <clears throat> what does this have to do with God? What does this have to do with religion? Isn't it obvious that any cult leader in the world, he want your money, your women, and to take control of you? This is the whole point.
This is what Muhammad is saying. Uh, ultimate light, you want to call me? Okay, text me. What, what do you mean, block you? Make a new name. Are you ultimate fort? The one who say the F word to Prophet Muhammad? If you are the same person, we know we are done. I mean, you said the F word to Allah and to Muhammad. And you agreed that the Quran is corrupted. So I want to talk to you. We have you recorded 1,000 times. That's it. Do we have any Muhammadan? He have the courage and the knowledge. You can call me if you are a Muhammad. And you listen. I mean, I can. I like I say Muhammad is an idiot. But don't say the F4 to Muhammad. That's not nice. Respect your prophet. Don't be like ultimate fort. I ask ultimate fort, peace upon him. Why Allah speaking to Muhammad like this? He said to me, okay, it's like there is two brothers. One is older and one is younger. So the older brother, he said to the younger brother, imagine now he is explaining the Quran. He is what? He is explaining the Quran. So he said to him, listen, mother f mother f you know you know the word so this potato imagine he is explaining to me how allah and why allah is speaking to muhammad like that he said allah said to muhammad listen to me the mf word <laughs> and allah is the uh, the, uh, the elder brother and muhammad is the younger brother Do we have Muhammadan? Anyone? And even that verse, by the way, in the chapter of At-Tahreem, it's about sex. The wife of Muhammad, she came, she found Muhammad in the bed with her servant. The wife, she said to him, this is not my words, by the way. This is not my word. This is their words. You can go right now, open the chapter of At-Tahreem. Let me open it. Hold on. Al-Tahreem. When, when they write those... Uh, <coughs> Muhammad, when his uh, the wife of Muhammad, she said to him, in my house, in my bed, I mean, look how filthy he is. He go to the house of his, uh, Muhammad, by the way, was poor, to the point every wife, she have a house. Every wife, she have a house. And Muhammad, he have sex in the bed of his wife. He sent her to go to see her father. This is how filthy, how trashy he is. And then, look at this. Just look at those. Look, look at those names. Look at those stupidity. Look at this garbage. And then the wife she come, and she found that Muhammad having sex with his slave. And then Muhammad, after he got busted, she got so angry, she wanted to tell her father. So Muhammad, he promised her that he will never sleep with this slave again. Few days after, Muhammad, he missed the slave sex. So he came with this verse, claiming Allah told him, why you are forbidding yourself from what Allah made law for for you. Do you see how sicko he is? And I challenged the Muslims to show me where in the Quran Allah he made lawful for Muhammad to have sex with a slave is not a slave of war. I challenge you. The Quran speak about your right hand possess. Those are the slaves of war. 
The woman he was sleeping with, it was Mary the cook. She is not captured by war. She was given to him as a gift. And yes, Muhammad is against slavery. To the point he received shipping in Amazon, boxes full of human beings. Do we have any Muhammadan? He have the courage and the knowledge. Anyone? Anybody? And by the way, if you read the interpretation of this verse, you will see every every Muslim try to duct tape. So some they say it is about Mary the Copt. Some they say no, no, the prophet, his wife, she said to him, "You smell bad because he was drinking honey." Since when, if you drink honey, you smell bad? Have you ever heard of honey smell bad? And why the wife she will be upset for him drinking honey? Mary the cook, she was a slave. Okay, what about you, call me? And if you can prove that she is a slave, I will promise you I will never come back here again. Amir, where is this guy, Amir? Hold on, where is his text? Mr. Amir, if you can call me and prove that she is his wife. I will promise you, I don't have an endless penis like the prophet said he promised you. I cannot play with that. I know that Abraham, he cut his penis by using a hammer, slash hammer. I cannot do that. You know, I don't have such a size. Sorry. But I can promise you I will shave my beard. If you can call me and prove it to me. Can you? All right, maybe we have a Muslim. Let us see. I mean, I don't know. Muslims, they say things, but the question is, can they prove it? Hello? It must be Fakira. Hello? Yeah, Fakira, son of Muta. I mean, the funny is he changed his voice to a female. <laughs> Trashy. <laughs> I mean, how stupid you are. <laughs> so, Amir, why you don't call me, my friend? And in front of everybody, I will give you the mic. I will give you the time to show me the proof that Mary the Copt, she was the wife of Muhammad. What do you think? Either you are lying or I am lying. What say you? Any Abdul? And here you notice, by the way, that the Muslim, they will not dare to accept a challenge because they knew that they will lose. They lie. The second we ask them for proofs of what they say, we conquer them. Any Muhammadan? And the funny is, I mean, this is how silly they are. You can go to Google right now and you will see there is tons of Islamic official websites Many of them, even they are government website, they say clearly that Mary the Copt, she was a, con a concubine, not a wife, never was. Why you Muslim lie? Trying to duct tape your prophet. So the Quran says, why you forbid what Allah made lawful for him? But the Quran never said it made lawful for you, a slave girl. She is not a slave of war.
Do we have any Muhammadan? Hmm. Mayday, mayday, mayday. Anyone? Any half Muslim, he have the courage and the knowledge. Who is a Muhammadan? It is Ramadan. And you know, if you call me in Ramadan, Allah will give you extra wages. It is the month of eating. Where a price of food goes so crazy. And Muslim, they gain a lot of weight. And many of them, they die over... You know, you know, you know what happens when you eat too much? Heart attack, diabetes, all kinds of things. Any Mohammedan? Hello? Yeah, you can search like there's many questions in, in Google why in the month of Ramadan the hospitals are more busy than an average month why in the month of Ramadan even violence increase you know what they do in the month of Ramadan if you speak to a person say don't talk to me I'm, I'm fasting I'm fasting and suddenly he's so angry and he want to fight everybody I'm fasting please don't talk to me so look like the month of fasting you can go right now and see uh, you search in Google, fasting Muslim beating each other. <laughs> Very sensitive, my friend. Do we have any Muhammadan? Mayday, mayday. How do you do? Who want to convert me to Islam? Because honestly, I thought about it. I mean, I have some objections for some stuff but if you think about it there is many things i like to have. as an example all my life i want to sit in a couch until now i don't have one honest to god my friend i'm not joking by the way i don't have in my house a single couch i don't have zero i'm not joking uh yeah, my furniture is very simple. I have a bed, I have a table, uh, a small food uh, table, and that's it. And four short chairs. No couch. So, I want to have a couch. Can you believe that Allah, He want to give us a couch in heaven? You will be reclining on a couch. Isn't it, this is the dream of everybody? And if you go in the Quran, you will see the Quran saying they will be during the day busy with some business. What is the business? Fakihun. If you read the interpretation, you will see they are having sex. And here you will see that they will be reclining on their couches. The translation says throne. That's false. You know, Araic. Change the translator just to show you. I mean, Islam is stupid religion. I mean, Muslims, they have very weird translation for their book. And by the way, they claim that they don't, they don't corrupt the book. This is what they say. Huh? Reclining, reclining, my friend, in your throne. Why? Allah have a throne. You Muslims have a throne? Are you the king of the heaven? So he international. Here became couches. The throne became a couches. It's the same. I mean, they are very close. So you will be reclining on your couch. Let us be honest. 
If this is not a promise from God, who is the one who makes such a promise? A person who is control of all furnitures in the world. Who of you don't dream to have a nice couch and you recline on it? Those are Bedouin Arab. Their life is very simple. Muhammad, before actually he claimed to be a prophet, those Arab, they have nothing. You know, this is why the Muhammad was able to hire them to invade. Because invade, get the blondie, get the money, get the gold. You have no life. They sleep in tent, they sleep in the floor, they have nothing. So promising them couches was a dream. Pillows, pillows, even the Quran promised them pillows. Cups, that is dream. Cups, you know, uh, 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 the cups, the, the one they used is, is very savage, poor. So you will see that the Quran controlling them, controlling their mind by promises of things which is about being rich. Fruits, those are people of the desert. There's no fruits. Desert people. Their, their food is very simple. They can't grow anything. There's no tomato, potato, those things, not nothing. So Muhammad always he tried to uh, tempt his men or those naive ones around him by very, very, very stupid, silly promises. Can you believe it that Muhammad even promised them that they will wear a bracelet? You know, for me, one of the things I hate about to see a man is wearing a bracelet or dressing like a girl. Why a man, he will wear a bracelet? One verse, Muhammad, he says, you will wear a sour or a bracelet made of gold. One verse says from silver. But why a man want to wear a bracelet of, from gold? Look at this promise. The man is decorating himself. The Muslim man in heaven, he want to look pretty. He want to look like those hippies. Hey Muslims, are you going to have tens of ring, like maybe a thousand ring in your nose and your of gold? Isn't it the bracelet is a kind of a ring? You want to be flashy, don't you? Any Muhammadan? What is this? Allah, he promised you a green uh, uh, cloth made in Iran. And the Iranian at that time, they were the Persian, they were pagans. In Arabic, it says Istabraq. Istabraq is a silk made in Iran specifically. So Muhammad, he heard that, you know, remember he used to work with for Khadija, the boy he worked for this older woman, where he, in, his, in the age of his mother, he married her for the sake of his, her money obviously and he heard that there is an expensive silk only very rich people they wear so he promised them that in the Quran Sundus wa istabra read it and this is the Muslim translation And the clothes of the Muslims in the heaven will be green. Do you know why it's green? Those are Bedouin people, they love a green. If any of you ever go to the Middle East and you go to a house of an average person, now maybe now like they are more educated, etc. But if you go to a like an let us say a countryside area, you will see a villager have all the house inside colored by a very dark green which is very annoying the reason for that those people they live in the desert you will find the curtain is full of colors and flowers and etc 
because their life is boring. So they try to make it busy. And actually, even now, I mean, people who live in the city, they try to choose colors which is not noisy, like, you know, light blue, light, etc. So you can, you know, like you can have a comfortable life or comfortable color because your life outside is so noisy. Those people, their life is the opposite. So they try to add noise to their curtains. In fact, Muhammad once, he went inside the house and supposedly he learned something now from the Jews. And Muhammad, he wanted to practice something conservative. So he asked, he told the Aisha that she should not have those curtains who have images. Is that true, Muslims? I mean, this guy, he made lawful to have sex with the children. He made lawful to kidnap, to steal. He made lawful to lie to your wife. He made lawful to take false oath. He made lawful to, 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 to rent a woman for 10 minutes, 15 minutes, as Mimi Hijab said. And now it is haram to have an image of a flower on the curtain. Do you see how conservative he is? <clears throat> Any Mohammedan? <clears throat> And the funny is, the Muslim today, they say it is not haram today to use a camera, take a picture. But it's haram to draw a picture. <clears throat> hmm. You know, there is a, there is a hadith Proving that Muhammad is a person who destroy a lot of history. He's a very evil man, savage. You know, you heard of the uh, the Muslim. They say that Muhammad he uh, destroyed three hundred sixty five idol around the Kaaba. Muhammad he destroy every single image. Not only idols and even grave he did not allow people to make a level a grave so you will know your father is he was buried do you see it so there's a lot of history in the Middle East destroyed because of the stupid Muhammad. Don't leave any image. This is why Taliban, the Muslim Brotherhood, the Muslim Brotherhood, when they took over Egypt, they have a plan to use TNT to destroy all the ancient buildings of Egypt. And trust me, if they take over, if they were able to stay for longer, they would do it. Islam is a threat to history, humanity, peace, everything. And the funny is, if you remember the story of the grave punishment, that the two angels who will come to you in the grave they will ask you three questions. One of them, they will show you the picture of a prophet Muhammad. But I thought images is haram in Islam. Not only that, when you go in the heaven of Allah, in the heaven of Allah, there is a bazaar, a market. In this bazaar, there is nothing, no buying nor selling. Except images of men and women. Let me find the hadith.
And if you like an image, if you like the image, you go inside it and you have sex with the image, even though it might be an image of a man, as the hadith state. Read carefully. I thought images is haram, forbidden. The Messenger of Allah said, In paradise there is a market which is nothing brought or sold except images of men and women. And here I want you to focus with me in the images is not images of women only. It's images of men and women. But who is the customer? A man. If a man like the image, he enter it and have sex with it. <laughs> Playboy. See, the web camera business is exist in Islam long before anybody. It's in the front of you. Allah, he opened a web camera business. The difference here, it is way more advanced. You go, you jump inside the picture and you like men and you are a gay. You can have sex with the man. A Muslim saying to us, it's a weak hadith. My friend, you are weak. Muhammad is weak. Islam is weak. This is what you are saying to us. So if it is weak, what does that mean? Is it accepted or rejected? If it's rejected, that is a lie and the proof it's in your book you muslim when you collect those things are you collecting the bad ones or collecting the good ones the answer is the good ones everything is not accepted is not in the book as sheikh hamza he said weak hadith is a weak argument And you know, when the Muhammad and they say weak, what you are trying to say to me, that you Muslim, you lie about what your prophet said and did? That is a good point. That means we cannot trust neither Muslims, neither their books, because everything there can be a fraud. Do we have any Muhammadan? Imagine yourself now calling me and defending Allah and his messenger and Allah you go to your bedroom you find an image of a man you sleep with that man what do you want more as a Muslim man may they may they may they who want to get images of men today and get rewarded and what is the purpose of this? In the heaven, there is a market, which means there is a sale. It says there, there's no buying or selling except, which means you have to buy it. It's not for free. I mean, you are in heaven now, and yet you have to pay for your sexual entertainment. Do we have any Muhammadan? You know, uh, and uh, you know like each time I read anything about this religion I find it really fascinating this is why I decided to write night right now the book I'm working in it's about stupid stories in the Quran and the hadith let us say stupid stories of Muhammad so I will make a collection now of the most funny stupid stories put them all in one book is going to be one of its kind never been written about such a topic before and you guys you will love it as an example, I don't know if I will put this story. Maybe this one is not good for that. Because this is like not really... I think this is a true story. You know? Uh, I heard that Abraham, his penis was so long. I think in the time of Abraham, the penis of men used to be like 20 mile, 60 mile. I don't know. I heard that even Muhammad, uh, Abraham, when he pissed, like he was... Pissing all over nations, not only like in his uh, bathroom, you know. So Abraham, he become old, and now he noticed that he have to do circumcision. He is eight years old. But how he is going to do circumcision? At that time, there is no Caesar. 
and there's no knives. But there is a, a ads. So, uh, you know, Abraham, he said to himself, okay, so he put his thing on the table, which is a huge, unbelievable. I mean, for me, I cannot miss. I mean, I, I cannot do that. Like if you miss a couple of inches, you lost it all. What the heck? Would, uh, would Abraham, if he like, let us say he missed five foot, he cut extra six foot. Who care? <laughs> it's too much. Like it's so long, <laughs> you know, so like, where Muhammad he got these stories from? Muslims, the guy is 83, 80 years old, and now he is using the ads to do circumcision to himself. And why Muhammad did not do circumcision? Do you know that Muhammad never did circumcision? Why? He don't have an ads too? Or maybe his penis was so small. He was afraid to miss it and cut it all. Are you sure it was an ads? Mm -hmm. Any Abdul? But you know what? I have to admit that Abraham is really brave. I mean, how in the world do you do that, Abraham? Did you buy it from Home Depot or where do you get these ads? What the heck? Did he did he do it himself or his wife she hit it? There is some women here. Yeah, yeah, women, they never heard about the word penis before. I agree with you. We should not say it. Well, my friend, if you are sensitive, don't come here. This is not a place for kids. There is a woman here, CP. Oh, really? Yeah, I never heard about the word penis. Yeah. In the year 2023. Yeah. I mean, Aisha, she was so young at that time and she was expert with penises. Isn't it Aisha who said, who of you have control, have a penises like the Prophet? The Muslim, they say, is control himself. Now, Arabo is control himself. What if we go in the dictionary? Arabo means his sexual organs, his penis. And the funny, I found that this hadith it's kind of weird because how Aisha she knew that Muhammad have the best penis between mankind unless she is expert. You know what I mean? If Aisha she was a virgin when she married to Muhammad, if we can call it a marriage, and she stayed with him until he died, okay, and then after that she never get married. So how she knew that Muhammad is the best of sexual organs? You see a translation, he says, control his desire. That's a lie. I mean, how the guy controlled his desire and he was sucking your tongue? Does it sound like somebody controlling his desire now? Zara Abbas saying, what does have to do with Islam? You tell me. That's a good question. If Islam is a religion from God, what does have to do with God? You tell me. So you, Muhammad, and you write those things in your books, and when we read it for them, you say, what does have to do with Islam? Somebody told you that the books you are reading is written by the Hindus? This is your books about Islam. Okay, we have a we have a Muslim. Let us see. Hello. There we go. This is Fakira. You will never ever filthy 
right away he starts saying the F word, son of Muta. He will never speak here. Coward liar. After we got from you insulting your prophet, saying the F word, had said, you will never speak here. You said that you gave me the top gift ever. Do we have any brief Muhammad? And what this have to do with Islam? Our friend here said, that's a good question. What does this have to do with God? What kind of a prophet he is fasting, sucking the tongue of his wife? And she is claiming that now he is controlling his penis. Does it sound like somebody really controlling himself? So now I have a teenage or very young girl and I am sucking her tongue. And that is the proof that I am controlling my desire and I am a fasting person. Sucking her tongue. Hadith here it says he used to kiss him me. Other hadith says he sucked my tongue. Hmm? Look what Muhammad here during the fasting she, he do. Read carefully. When any of us, anyone among us, look how many they are. Uh, was mis mis uh, like she have her period the messenger of Allah asked her to tie waste warber during the time when she had menstruation blood coming out and he embraced her why he do that the Quran says avoid women they have their menstruation it is a hurt what Muhammad do? The opposite. In fact, in Arabic it says, Yubashiruha, which means he have sexual uh, act with her. The word Yubashir actually, it means to F. But here they are saying, well, he is putting a sheet over her private part. And Aish is saying, and who of you can control himself like the Prophet? I can tell how much he control himself. He have many wives. One of them she have a she have a hair period. Go to the second one. A person who control himself, he don't do that. And as you see, all of those are Sahih Hadith, authentic, very authentic. Translation says he embarrassed her. That's false. It says you bashiruha. He if her. Maybe from the wrong direction. Read with me here how the translation changed. Do you see it says he is fondling her? Guys, do you see the word fondling? Do you see it? Muhammad fondling the wives while she have menstruation. What fondling mean? Should I give you details? He start fondling her. He order her to warp her vagina and he fondled her and Aish she claim that who of you can control his sexual desire that's a lot of control <laughs> this is the garbage of her prophet I typed the word fondling in uh, in Google to see what exact mean. Look what I found. XX.com, XMX.com, uh, Pornhub.com, 
I mean, we are searching about Prophet Muhammad. What is missing to find is androtate.com. I mean, do you see how holy he is? I just typed the word fondling her to see what it's mean exactly in English. As you know, English is not my first. Here we go. I did not type any word, honestly. I just typed the word fondling her. That's all. And then what? All is porn. This is porn. You search about Muhammad, what he is doing, you find sex porn, you no know, website. Fondling her. The wife, she is so proud, by the way. I mean, look how good he is, decent he is. I mean, he controlled himself, man. I mean, even a goat, she will not do that. You see, if this guy, he have one wife, I say, you know what? Maybe she don't mind, and uh, she is his wife anyway. And it's okay. I mean, if she wanted. But this guy, he have endless number of women. So what do you mean? He is fondling her when she is bleeding, full of blood. Actually, there's a hadith. I don't know if I can find it where it says that some of the blood from fondling came on his address. Oh boy. Uh. Do we have any Mohammedan? And the prophet is fasting. Hmm. Do we have any Muhammadan he can fondle her? Who of you Muslims can fondle the same as the prophet fondle? Can we have a fondling competition? How Aisha she knew that he is the best fundalator if she never slept with other men? Any Muhammadan can tell me? How we knew that Muhammad is the best fundalier in the world? Prophet Muhammad wickedness upon him. Who of you can control his penises like the Prophet Aisha, she said. She's expert. I mean, she slept with 10,000 men. She noticed that Muhammad is the best. How Aisha, she knew that he is the best in this. Any Muhammadan can tell me? You know, if your wife, she said to you, let's say you are sleeping with her, and she said to you, man, you are the best in bed. I mean, isn't it obvious that she slept with 10,000 before you? Huh? Oh boy. We should make a website. It's called Muhammad Fundalator. Peace be upon him. Fundalator upon him. The best fundalator upon him. Upon him. Should we make a reward like you know there is no prize for chemi for chemistry for physics for poetry shouldn't we make a Nobel prize for fundalator he is the best fundalator in the world who is a muhammadan can prove to me that muhammad was the best fundalator Anyone? Do you think, and I want your serious opinion, please don't forget to leave a comment later. Do you think that Muhammad was trained by Allah specifically to get the skills of Fandalator? I mean, you know, like if you want to learn karate, 
like a bros, like ching, ho, 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 you know, you have to be trained by somebody. Who was the one teaching Muhammad to be the best? Uh, is he born this way? Is a fundator by birth? What do you think? Hey, Muslim, leave your comment. Did he go to school to learn how to be the best fundator? And did Allah tell him to do it this way? You know, I heard that there is a medicine is called Fandalin from Prophet Muhammadin. I heard that Aisha, she used to scratch the semen of the Prophet from his dress. Is that from the Fandalitar? The only one is calling us is Fakira. What we can say? Do we have any Muhammadan? <clears throat> Shall we call him from now on, thundering upon him? I mean, you see, the Muslim they say a peace upon him. We 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 come a better a better name, a wickedness upon him. This is a wicked man. This is literally a wicked man. You know, especially in the old days, like, you know, women these days, they can keep themselves way cleaner from the old days. But in the old days, women, they don't have what they have now. Simply, they have rags. Even the hadith, just to show you how sick this idiot is, when Muhammad want to take a shower or wash himself to... Pray to Allah. What he do? He jump in water, have dead dogs, women of blood from period, and garbage. Literally. And you know, I find it very astonishing because remember, those stories written by Muslims about the Muhammad, which mean they did not notice that this is really weird and sick. That means at that time, it's acceptable for him for them but it's not acceptable for the Arab by the way you will notice that here you will see that the Arab asking him do you do that why they are asking him do you do that because this is not normal nobody do that they question his behavior the Arab are not dirty I mean, yes, they are better when they don't take a shower every day or every week, but this is because there are people living in the desert and they don't have really water. Water is priceless. We know where they live. They don't live in Vietnam where there is river everywhere. But this is not an excuse. Still there is water. And you can wash yourself. If not every day, maybe every week. But you don't jump in that sewage where dead dogs and women of blood from period and garbage thrown in. And you will see here what I'm saying. The menstrual gar rags. Do you see the word? They use rags. They use fabric. And mostly those piece of fabric, they use it for their menstruation. And then they wash it and they use it until like one day it is too much. That's it. They cannot wash it no more. Then they throw it away. And when they decide to throw it, obviously it's full of blood already because it's not worth to wash something you would throw. So Muhammad is taking shower with water, which is in the size of a jacuzzi, have all this filthy material and that Tell us what kind of a person he is. Do we have any Muhammadan? Can it call us and tell us about Prophet Fundal Her? Peace be upon him. Any one of you did say save the hadith here? You want to save the hadith about Fundal Her? 
I'm going to call Andrew Tate and ask him if he can open a foundation school for the new generation of the Muslims who they are his fan. To teach you, I mean, who can teach Fandalin now? Better, I mean, Prophet Muhammad is dead. That's it. We cannot ask Prophet Muhammad to open a school of Fandalation. But we can ask and rotate. He is very, very well-known Fandalator. So uh, maybe this is a good idea. You can train the Abdul and make money. Ticket, you know, open a school called the Fanda. You know, you have a school, it's called Hastalar. Change the name, make it Fandalar. Very close. Hmm. Any Mohammedan? I cannot stay for longer because I have to go and fundle my uh, new monitor. I bought a new monitor. I like it very much. It's made in Korea, you know. And, uh, you know, I opened this monitor. It's speaking Korean. Like, what the heck? I called Amazon. They said to me, it's a Korean monitor. What you expect? I said, what? Uh, so what? Like, so now I cannot. So I what? You know, they said to me, they explained to me. They said to me, like, it's what? So like what? You know, like what the what? And then like I asked him how many what it is. And they told me like it's 220. So I said, okay, I will keep it. Yeah, like, you know, like you go on YouTube, you say like unboxing. This is this is what Fandalar mean, you know. You, you guys, you are taking it dirty way, aren't you? Right? <laughs> dirty minded people, dirty minded. Fandalin her mean he is doing uh, an, like unboxing, you know. Like today we'll do unboxing. He's unboxing. Fandalin her. Yeah. <clears throat> Who is here from the Fandalin? Uh, University of Al Azhar. Anyone? Are you guys having fun? Don't forget to give me this like, please. I like it to see. I mean, yesterday somebody said, Wow, Christian Prince, you have a zero dislike. My friend, YouTube, don't show it. I assure you that the Muslim, they give me a, an ocean of dislike. Are you kidding me? YouTube don't show that because, you know, there's some people they stress out when they see dislike. There's some people they are weak, you know. So when they see a lot of dislike, that causing stress. So they decide to take it down. Not everybody. You know, for me, I like to see dislike. I mean, I don't want anyone to like me. Leave me alone. <laughs> but there are some people really, they will be stressed if they see that people giving them dislike. So in YouTube, you know, it's not people are not disliking my video. Every single Muslim would dislike my video. Are you kidding me? I mean, come on. We are talking about fundling here. So the Mohammedan, when they come and they watch my video, they fundle the dislike. Not only they click in it, <laughs> like they keep like fundling, 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 like dislike, 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 and they flag it and they, you know, so don't tell me they don't fundle it. Every video I make, they fundle it because they love it. They are following the prophet fundalator. Peace be upon wicked, wickedness upon him, fundling upon him. Do we have any Muhammadan? Hmm? Okay, I have an offer for the Muhammadan. If you call me right now, in, you know, like you call me and you speak about how the Prophet, he fundled her, huh? I will make you a special fundling admin. You will be an admin, I promise you, when I am not live on air. That is called fundling admin because, you know, you are in the air fundling alone. This is your books. And now what you will say? You will say this is a week? The prophet thundering her? 
Imagine if Aisha, she have TikTok in her time. I mean, the whole content is sexual. And people will start asking Aisha, can you show us how the Prophet used to do it? She would do it. In fact, Aisha, she used to take a shower in front of men and she is naked. She have a see-through curtain between them. And not only that, the curtain is covering only supposedly to her waist. <clears throat> it look like there's no Muhammadan would like to call us today. They are thundering the food. It's, they are fasting. You know what you expect? If somebody is fasting, you have to fundle the food. They cannot eat it. They fundle it. It's a fasting. Haram. You know, like the Prophet, he cannot, you know, so he suck her tongue. The Muslims, during their time, they fondled the food. At night, they... <clears throat> Who is here first time? If you are here first time, you better leave. I'm warning you. You will be addicted. All Muslim might call. David, are you kidding me? They are not going to call. They are fondling now. It's the fondling day. Well, they are fasting. So what they do? Like when I was a kid, I you know, there's a kid, a Muslim kid. He's a one nice guy, actually. I mean, a kid, we are kids. So I go to his house. He come to my house. Uh, you know, and we are kids, like, you know, we eat cookies, and you know. We, so I went to his house during uh, Ramadan. And we ate, you know, his mother, she have food, baklava, whatever, and we ate a lot, and now we want to leave. He said, wait, 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 wait. I said, what? He went to the kitchen. He wet his uh, his lips, you know, with his tongue, and then he he put salt, and he dipped his uh, 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 his lips over the salt. And I was saying, what are you doing? You look funny. He didn't answer because, you know, if he talk, the salt will fail down. So he, he frees his face. He did not talk. And when he is done, I asked him, what you did, man? What was that? He said, uh, so when you go out, you will think we were fasting. They will not know I was drinking and eating. I said, who taught you that? He said, all my family, they do that. My dad, my mom, everybody. So they eat all day long inside the house. When they want to go out, they wet their lips with their tongue and then they put salt and the salt will suck the witness in their lips, will make it so dry, will make it look like they did not touch water for a long time. He put a lot of salt, you know, like first time, second time, and then he look in the mirror and then we go out. And I said to him, how you learn this? How you doing? You know, I said, oh, my dad, he do that. My mom, all of us. All of us. Once his father, the same kid, you know, he was sitting in the couch and he had a little rock in his hand. Uh, and he is hitting his head, his forehead with this rock. It sounds stupid for me. I could not understand what he's doing. So I told the, you know, this kid, I told him, why your dad is doing that? He said, because that will make a spot in his head and that means he pray a lot. Uh, <laughs> you will see, uh, you know, they want to show that they are believers. They, he pray a lot. He put his head in the floor a lot. And by time, that will cause damage to your head, your skin, and will make it look like a dark spot and really ugly. But for them, it is a clear sign that he is a true believer who pray a lot. He don't miss any prayer. Hmm. Let me show you what I'm talking about so you can get an idea.
you will find that all of them let us go to images if I say this is the look of Satan I am not exaggerating look at this so this guy they you know this is what this guy was doing they hit his head This is not like an, a disease or no. This guy, he, you know, th this is supposedly that means he pray a lot. I mean, uh, even if you put your head in the floor, why that would happen? That doesn't make sense. Are you hitting your head in the floor or you are just bowing down slow and nice? It's a big business in the Middle East. And they compete about who is the one he have more dark spot in his face. You know, for me, it looked like a horse he kicked him out or something. Yeah, they call it Zabiba, Zabiba, yeah. Zabiba ya Habiba. Biba Biba. It looked disgusting, satanic, you know. Do you see it? One after one. Even some of them, they use ink, you know, but ink usually is easy to expose because, uh, you know, like it, it, it will show. It's not really, you know. So what they do, they prefer to use rocks. Look at those faces. Look. Satan, Satan, Satan thundering upon him. I better move from here, otherwise, many of you will start vomiting. And I bet you those pictures we showed you, they are good in thundering, they are expert in thundering. Yeah, they have the mark of the beast in their forehead. Do we have any Muhammadan here? Or everybody is thundering like the Prophet Muhammad, busy in Ramadan, sucking tongues like the Prophet in Ramadan, sucking the tongue of his wife. You know, actually, if you ask me, I advise you, especially young guys, if you are single and you want to get married and you like, like, you know, let us say you are not good looking like me and you want to like get married so what do you do you do this try it okay you will look so good women they will love you and at least if you went missing one day your wife she can tell them how to find you You know what I'm saying? Hmm. She can just go to the police and say to them, you know, my husband, he have a shoe of a horse in his forehead. And right away they will find you. Any Abdul? <clears throat> Let us ask the ladies here their opinion. Hey, ladies, don't you think this is very, like, handsome? I mean, be honest with me. Not too much honest, okay? <laughs> Hmm. 
<coughs> Peace in the Middle East has many defense on why uh, Abdul do what they do. Maybe she can call, she bite nervous through. I know what they mean, my friend. You know what, Shakespeare? I think you are perfect to write Quran because only Allah knows knows what you meant. <laughs> I don't know what you are saying. <laughs> Either it's my, my English or your English. You choose one. <laughs> Do we have any Mohammedan? I mean, come on, everybody is thundering. Are you serious? You know what? I decide to copy this word, just an experiment, you know? Experiment. And I will search here. I will go to the search engine, peace be upon him, and type the word Thundalin. What the heck? It's all over the place. Me, Thundalin, 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 Thundal me, War me, Thundal her. What the heck? This is, we can write a book about Fandalin, you know? We can make a museum of Fandalin. Like, you know, we can like we can make like a, a, like a kind of, a, you know what? I got an idea. What we don't, what about we make and walks? Fandalin a museum. Aisha being fundled by the Prophet, Hafsa being fundled by the I mean, all kind of possession of Fandalin. What the heck is that? We can write a book, this is, are you serious? All of this fandanin, fandanin, fandanin. There's nothing like ice cream. All is fandanin. No wonder the guy never have kids. I mean, he just fandal. <clears throat> hey, Muhammad, isn't it time to have a real thing? Huh? Or you want to... Christian breath. First of all, Prophet was fandanin her because he have a period. But when she don't have a period, he do it. Zachary, are you sure? I'm very sure. How you know? Because I that he said, Aisha, she said. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. There's a hadith reporting how the Prophet have sex with Aisha, reported by somebody, not by Aisha. How he knew? <laughs> Narrated by the Sahabi, by the companion Fandal, peace be upon him, Muhammad bin Fandal. Hmm. You guys, I'm very disappointed of you. You are not getting me any shakes, anybody. You know, I was writing my book, especially after I got my new monitor, and I spent my last night fundling the monitor. I mean, unbelievable. Like, I start flipping channels and see how this monitor work made in Korea. I don't understand what it's saying. You click the remote control, it goes backward, forward. Like, where is the computer? I go back, I got in the screen. I mean, I did open the fundling manual. I could not even understand anything. I mean, I don't know. Like, it's, you know, I then I, you know, it's, it says that this uh, monitor is made by Samsung, Samsung, someone, someone. No, Samsung, Samsung. Someone, someone from Samsung. Okay, here we go. So, uh, and then I called them. They said, did you open the Fandarin manual? <laughs> you know? So I said, like, okay, where is the Fandarin? They said, you will find it in the in the Fandarin box. You know? <laughs> yeah, I got a new monitor because I'm working in my, in my book and sitting in this chair is very painful. You don't know how much when I get up. Oh, man, I'm trying to get up now. It hurt. Oh, boy. I'm talking now standing. Thank God nobody can see me. Otherwise, all of them, they will run away. I mean, when I'm sitting, I am. I don't look good. So imagine when I'm standing. Anyway, anyway. Uh. <laughs> oh, boy. I was waiting for the monitor prices to go down, but look like the inflation. Inflation. I mean, I just made a new, I just made a new English word. <laughs> I'm very good in that, by the way. My English is so good. So the inflation of Joe Biden, this be upon him. The price it was like I look at the price six months ago. It was way less than now. 
and I was waiting saying it's going to go down I will wait I mean come on the monitor is getting older is going to no thanks to Joe Biden he is fundling our currency <laughs> no no it's not infl infl inflation it's not inflation it is inflation coming from the world foundation <laughs> foundation <laughs> anyway anyway true story oh boy and now Joe Biden is funding our banks so God knows the little money I have in the bank Joe Biden is going to fund it and we will wake up in the morning we have no money bankruptcy <laughs> already we are going crazy with this guy and now soon we will have no money in America you know what do you want more I mean the most rich country in the world is going bankruptcy because of the Democrat they are so smart man they are funding anything they can touch I assure you Oh boy. <laughs> oh, boy. anyway. Oh, look like we, we have no, uh, well, nobody here. And those people are busy fendaline, doing fendaline. So, what we can do? Yeah. Who is here first time? Anyone here is Democrat? Did I hurt your feeling? <laughs> I love the Democrat. They are so confused about who, what is women. I never thought about like what is women. You know, since I was a kid, like what is women? What is women? But when I come to America, I got it. There is nothing. It's called women. It's not right to say it. What the heck? I mean, the Democrats are funding even the word women, not only the word men. We should not say, and not only that, they should not say the word God is he. He. This is a male, uh, you know. We need to empower women. You don't say how God he. What the heck? And I said to myself, you know what? Today, after I am like learning from the Democrat, I became very, very, very educated. So now I cannot, I'm not going to say Joe Biden, he said. I will say she said. As you see, I'm supporting you. Shouldn't we empower the women? So Joe Biden, she said, Prophet Muhammad, she said. I mean, that's it. You know? You know the thing. Stupid people. When I say stupidity is amazing, I mean it. I mean, how far people can go, man, with stupidity? I love the Chinese and their wisdom. They said he left as a donkey, never come back as a horse. I'm not sure they were talking about who. Do you know? Leave your comment later and tell me. Maybe you can put some names there. I don't know. They were talking about somebody. Yeah, what is women? <laughs> you know, uh, there's an article somebody sent to me this long, a long time ago. How to empower women? You need to grow hair under your arm. You know, Muhammad was busy funding women and the Democrat now, they are funding the liberals, funding under your arm and putting hair there. If we put hair under your arm, you look like man. And you became equal to man. This is what is missing actually the hair under your arm what about mustache yes we need mustache too they said in the article don't shave don't take hair from your body you know like what the heck hey women they want you to look like me <laughs> gorilla i was swimming in the swimming pool the guy he said to me sir you cannot swim with your clothes i said you stupid idiot don't you see i'm a middle eastern this is our fur it's natural he said, let me see. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> anyway, anyway. <laughs> let us stop here before YouTube take down our video. <laughs> All of them, they are liberal. The liberals of YouTube, you know. Oh, boy. Uh, do we have any Mohammedan? We are out of Mohammedan. I don't know. Organic? 
<laughs> you know what? You are right. We need organic women these days. You know what? As long we need organic women. You see, actually, Muhammad, he was siding with the those liberals at the time. Look, well, let me show you. Isn't it Muhammad? He, I mean, thundering upon him, is the one who forbid women from taking hair from their faces. Hmm? Let me show you. <clears throat> I think Muhammad was so, uh, sponsoring this uh, liberals, you know, in San Francisco. Allah cursed the women who participate in tattooing and those women who have themselves tattooed and those women who had get hair removed from their eyebrows and faces. <laughs> you know, like you go and you find the women like you did not see her yet. Let us say you you spoke to her online. She have a you know like she sound nice. You want to meet her. You go to meet her. You find her. She have a beard. You say to her, "How come you have a beard?" Peace be upon you. <laughs> Allah curse women if they take hair from their face. That's so good. Have you? Thought ever thought about Rumble? A lot of conservative that get kicked off YouTube. My friend, Rumble is not for conservative. They are fooling you. It's a company. They are making money of people. Anyone kicked out, they take him. Even Andrew Tate is Andrew Tate is a conservative. But I know what you mean. But don't fool. Don't make you. Make, you know. Don't. Don't be naive and think that those people standing with the conservative, they are making money. It's all about money. All is about money. They don't care if you are conservative or not. They care to make their platform more popular. That's all. They don't give a, I don't want to use the word, you know, about you. The pimp, the garbage, the drug dealer, they go there too. Anybody go there. I don't mind to go there as a platform, but doesn't mean that this is a good platform. It's the same. All of them they are garbage, my friend. All is about money. <clears throat> Here, all is about fundling. See the difference? Fundling her, fundling me, fundling you. Fundle, fundle, everywhere, everywhere, everywhere. Prophet fundle, everywhere, everywhere. Fundle here. Unbelievable. Uh, yeah, the women actually, they accuse uh, Andrew Tate that he was raping them. He said, I did not. I was fundling them. You know? He was not raping them. He did fundle only. And there is, there is a huge difference between fundle. Okay, you people are selfish. Religion is open source. Or it should be, take what good you can out of faith. That's deep. My friend, peace in the Middle East. Are you sure you are not sad guru? I mean, where do you get this wisdom from? You folk look like I have a new name now. I mean, Prophet Folk, peace upon him. Okay, okay. You folk, folks, 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 wagon, you know. You folks are selfish. Religion is an open source. Oh, this is like a software, like, you know, Opera? Coding like a Java? Is it those? It's an open source, okay. Or it should be, take what good you can out of it. Okay, can you show me what is good in Islam? <laughs> I want to take the good out of Islam. What is the good? <laughs> There's nothing. Mr. Philosopher. 
I just learned a new word. I will, I will start using it today from now on. Let me remember this date. Hey, folks, how are you doing? Do we have anyone a folk want to call me? If you are a folk coming from the Folker, Folker uh, Lean Land, uh, please give us a folk, a folk, a folk calling. Uh, take what is good there's nothing good in Islam kill your neighbor get the blondie cheat lie take false oath you can lie to your wife you can lie to your husband you can have sex with the children what is good in Islam you, you, tell me you, you, do you want a Mr. Folk uh, peace be upon you to Folk with us. Do you know who is the first person who come with the word folk? I heard it. His name is a Franklin, because you know Franklin. Uh, you know, once he was eating, and then like he need to eat uh, some uh, meat, so he asked his wife to throw the fork at him. So she threw the fork to give it to him, but she hit him in his head. You know. So Franklin, Franklin, uh, he was the president of the USA at that time in England. Uh, you know, he's just like in Taiwan at that time. So she threw the fork at him, and then like he's know what heck? So he said like, okay, for a folk. So he said this is the folk. From that time, they start using that word, and it been added to the dictionary. I hope I just added something new to your knowledge, and uh, you appreciate that. Don't forget to give us this like if you appreciate. The knowledge you hear here and the philosophy. All right. <clears throat> By the way, everything I said to you is proven, uh, and you can ask. Uh, you can you can search the the computer of Hunter Biden. You will find all the information there. The FBI is searching his computer for the last three years. They could not find anything. Three years, they cannot find anything. The Hadith of Muhammad has many good saying and wisdom. Okay, give me one, like one. Give me one, give me one. Like, I will give you a wisdom of a prophet Muhammad. If you eat, don't wipe your fingers or wash it till you lick it. Do you want to practice that in any restaurant next time you go to the restaurant? I am scared of Allah. I don't know. The Quran says that the one who fear Allah, he believe in Islam. So are you stupid or what? Do you want me to show you the verse? Verse is not only verse. I mean, you Muhammadan, you are fundal in your religion. You don't even know your religion. That is the proof that you fundal it. You never have intercourse with it. What if I show you the Quran saying that those who fear Allah believe in Allah? Those who don't, they don't believe. So I don't fear Allah. According to you, it's the opposite. You are scared of Allah. The Quran said, those who fear Allah, scared of Allah, they worship Allah, not the opposite. But what I can say, you are fundling Islam and Quran. You never have intercourse with it. Like your prophet, he fundal, he never have sex. That's why he have never have kids. He prevent disease by killing like rodent and lizard. You know what, Sufyan? I was wondering where I met you first time. Hmm. I think you were in a safari with my friend hunting lizard because you want to stop disease. So your prophet, he ordered to kill lizard because he want to stop diseases spread. I thought because lizard, he was putting fire on Abraham. Did the reasoning change? Are you funding the story now? Did your prophet say that Allah, he ordered to kill the lizard because he tried to burn Abraham? 
every single creature tried to put the fire on Abraham except Mr. Lizard. What this have to do with disease, you potato? If you're a prophet, he cared for disease, he will not ask you to drink camel urine, which is full of diseases. Go search right now. Drinking camel urine risk. Serious diseases. Hmm. Do you see how they fabricate things? This is turned to be. This is about viruses, not about fiction. Stupid story. That Mister Lizard trying to kill Abraham. Why? He is evil. He's a lizard. Are you kidding me? And not only that, <clears throat> even <clears throat> Muhammad, he made a wanted sign. So he made, he put a wanted sign on the, in the wall in Mecca. And he said, if you kill him from the first hit, you get a reward, etc. Like 100 pound. If you kill him from the second uh, hit, you get uh, 50 pound. If you kill him from the third hit, uh, 25 pound. Is that true? Hmm? Why you people lie? Why? <clears throat> the lizard who tried to burn Abraham. How disgusting. You know what? First time I saw the lizard, I said to myself, because Allah is so big, his enemy is so big like him. <laughs> You know, tell me who is your enemy, I will tell you your size. Take that quotation from me. Tell me who is your enemy, I will tell you what is your size. Not size like by meters, your size of a value, strength, everything. So we have a God, he is the enemy of a lizard. This is how stupid and small your God. Prove me wrong. Oh boy. There is a jihad against lizard. Even the Mohammedan, they have even a fatwa against Mickey Mouse. The cartoon, even a cartoon. Even the cartoon. Look at this. What the heck? And here Muhammad, because he is super intelligent, he come to a conclusion that lizards are Jews and they used to be Jews and Allah, he cursed them. Why? Because they have five fingers. <laughs> Look at this story. <clears throat> Sufyan, are you still thundering the hadith or you start reading? Because what I noticed that you Muslim, you don't read your books, you thunder it. Do you remember this guy, the ketchup boy? He came to the Christian guy and he said to him, I found you the Quran of Uthman. You remember? You remember? I find you. The Qur I found the Quran of Uthman and he brought the Quran of Uthman in his hand. Give me the five thousand dollars because the Christian guy he said, If you can get me the Quran of Uthman, I will give you five thousand dollars. The stupid Uthman, potato, he brought a book. The book itself says, This book, there is no way it can be the book of Uthman. <laughs> The same book he brought. Uh, do you know why he is so stupid? Because he was fondling the book. He did not read the book. The Muhammadan, they do not read their books. They fondle like their prophet fondling Aisha. They don't read. They fondle the Quran. 
دي فندل حديث دي دون نو يو ستيبت يو جو يو برينج ام ا بوك ذا بوك اتسيلف سيز ذير از نو واي ذات ذا بوك اوف عثمان از ذيس وان اتس نوت ايفن اكزيست اند از تيلينج يو واي اند ذن يو جو تو اسك فور 5000 ذيس هاو ستيبت ذي ار And now we understand why the Prophet is thundering everybody. I think Muhammad he never shake hands. I think he thunder. Do we have any <clears throat> Muhammad from the thunder land? Yeah. Okay, look like we are out of customers for today. I'm going to stop here. Uh, And I, I hope you guys, yeah, you learn, you learn something good for your future. As an example, like, you know, if you are in future, you want to open a fundal business, uh, especially now, you know, Joe Biden, he empower a fundling business, anything serious, uh, especially if you use high tech uh, fundling, you know, uh, in the Silicon Valley, uh, you know, like you can, uh, you know, open a business and uh, Silicon Valley bank, they will give you a loan, just tell them high tech fundling. They will give you loan to anyone because they want to empower everybody, especially if you are a small fundling business. All right, they will give you a loan, they will give you the money they don't own, and then you don't need to bring it back. Just fundle with it, you know. <laughs> Take the money and fundle around with it. We are the liberals. We are the best of the fundling, not aspirin. Peace be upon us. Thank you very much for being here, and. Uh, As you see, Muhammadan, they are ashamed of their false god. They don't even know who is he. Until we get the answer, I leave you in peace. Thank you very much. Take care.